Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing this lovely little bowl of flowers. Um, this is a picture from World of Flowers. Um, this is the page where there's lots of sort of shelf areas with lots of different um, flowers and florals and gardening equipment and things like that on. And I thought I'd do some of them um, as little tutorials just for a bit of fun. So I've grabbed my um, Castle Arts Botanical set, seemed um, seemed appropriate for World of Flowers, and I thought we would just get going with some of the flowers themselves. Now I'm just having a look and uh, thinking about what colours to go for. I think I'm going to go for a nice red ochre. It's uh, rather vibrant. Just going to give them a sharpen. And uh, off we go. Now these are very small little florals, so I'm not going to try and do any fancy shading or anything. I'm just going to fill in these areas. Now I don't need to use a great deal of pressure um, with these pencils. They're nice and vibrant. Now you could of course do lots of different colours in this set of flowers. Um, lots of bright um, mixed um, blooms but uh, it's easier and quicker to stick with one colour and uh, I just thought it would be uh, nice as well to have a sort of f limited palette as it were. I find that can add a sort of neatness and consistency that's quite pleasing so that's what I decided to do. Now I've seen this page done in a variety of ways. Um, there are people who do the background part as if it was little wood panels behind the items. Um, they Or they colour the backgrounds all different. That's what I did when I did it the first time. I did each one with a different coloured background. But I'm thinking this time that I might want to make it look like it's some sort of cupboard or shelf unit. I don't think it'd be a cupboard. These flowers wouldn't grow in a cupboard, would they? Unless they were um, silk flowers. Um, so I'm thinking maybe they would all be painted the same colour in the background. And there's a really nice golden yellow colour in these uh, in these pencils and I thought I might do that for the background and uh, then I might use that for all of them. I have to remember though because I'm not doing this page um, all in one go because I'm going to record the videos with it then uh, I've got to remember what I was doing. I might change my mind before I do the second one course once I've done two if I do them however I do them that's that then we're stuck got to do it that way then but it's quite fun at the beginning here thinking and choosing and uh, deciding how you want the page to look uh, I think that's a petal it's not as easy to tell and this one I think that's it I finished I should just sit back and look. Yeah we'll do these ones though down here and uh, then we'll start thinking about the leaves. Now I I haven't decided whether to do them all the same colour or whether to do several colours in there. I think it might be more interesting several greens. So I think I'm going to grab two. I'm going to use the permanent green first and do the lead, the petal, the leaves, sorry, that are closest to the flowers with this one. Again, there's no shading going on, there's too, they're too small. Uh, I've got to try and guess where there are leaves. I'm thinking it's probably best to assume there's leaves everywhere in the middle, rather than then trying to do a little odd bit of background in the middle of the plant, which could be tricky. 
I'm not getting too worried about this. If I do one that perhaps should have been left, it's okay, it doesn't matter. I think I may have made a mistake in that it might have made more sense to do the lighter one next to the plant and the darker one in as the rest, but again, never mind. If it looks really terrible, I can just go over the top of them all in a darker colour. We'll never know. That's the joy of using a pencil. You can cover up your mistakes. Can you see? You can see. So it's not really method in this. It's just colour choices and going for it, really. Now, a page like this can be quite daunting because it's big. It's got lots of little details on it, but the best approach is one piece at a time. So I'm just doing this one little um, bowl of flowers. I'm not thinking about what else is on the page underneath, to the right, the left hand side of the page. I'm just enjoying this one small piece. And I think that is the key to uh, enjoying a picture like this and succeeding with it and uh, not being daunted by um, by the fact that there's so much going on you don't want to um, to worry about a picture to not enjoy it the whole point is for it to be fun and relaxing and of course if it scares you silly don't do it just leave it. You might get in the mood for it some other time or you might just never do it. It doesn't really matter. If you're like me, you've got lots of books so you don't have to do every picture in every book. Although if you're like me, you do have to do every picture in every book because I've got this sort of completest thing going on where I like to finish things. This is the Leaf Green Light because I've got the botanical set, I don't have a big range of greens, but that one needs sharpening. I want to just get it a little bit of the, um, a little bit of a sharper point, so I can get a bit more colour down, because it is quite a pale colour. And I'm going to do all these bits in between, that it's not short like this. You can't tell if there should be a leaf there or not, but I think it makes sense for it to be a leaf rather than for it to be background. You might disagree. Do it the way you want to do it. But I don't feel that it would look quite right if that was the background colour. Gosh, the sun is shining. It's getting quite warm in here. Which uh, makes a change. It's been quite cool lately. Um, let me see. Just checking I've done it all. Filled in all those little gaps. There's one. There we go. Now I'm going to grab the golden yellow and do the background before um, we do the bowl, just so that I can see um, what, what it's going to look like. Now it's quite a pale creamy colour, I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera, but I rather like it and I think it goes with most colours as well, which I think is a big advantage. Now we've got this line going around the outside, I'm going to leave that until last. You know, when I finish the whole page, I mean, not just last today, um, because um, I, um, I, it might, until it's all done, I won't really know what colour. I mean, I might do it in a metallic um, pen, just to make it have some bit of bling, or um, maybe in a black um, fine liner, something like that. I just don't know at this stage what I'm going to be doing with it so we'll just uh, we'll just leave it for now so I'm pressing quite hard I want to get quite a 
because it's a pale colour I want to get quite a bit down on the page so that we can see it there but I rather like its warm creaminess I think it looks like um, spiced rice pudding mm. my brain always goes to food when I'm looking at colours <sighs> things that I used to eat I don't uh, make rice pudding my aunt used to make it just cook it in the oven we would have a delicious she would usually do a, a roast dinner might not always be roasted potatoes might be boiled potatoes with uh, with a couple of different veg usually some mushy peas cabbage carrots that sort of thing and then um, some meat and gravy and then we would uh, have um, have a rice pudding afterwards which had been cooked in the oven it had a thick skin on the top which was always delicious and um, the bowl um, I'm going to do it I was thinking orange but now I'm thinking no I'm going to do it blue so we have the cerulean blue light I'm just going to give it a sharpen um, so yes, delicious and um, my grandfather always used to get the most skin and he would get to uh, to lick out the bowl. I always used to be very cross and it seemed very unfair as a sort of six, seven year old child that uh, that he got it. And I somehow can't see that when I get to that age, he would have been in his um, late 60s, early 70s, that uh, I'll be allowed to be like that and get all the nicest foods. I know I'm always give the best bits to the children, but uh, I think us mothers do. But never mind my children have such a different diet to how I did growing up it's quite amazing I wonder if it's the same for you I used to uh, I think I grew up on fish fingers mash and baked beans or peas and corn roasted on the weekend now I rarely cook a roast I don't eat meat anymore it's just not something I enjoy eating so I just don't eat it uh, I do have fish occasionally it's, again I'm not really a big fan but uh, I just try and get some omega 3's so I have gone in a bit darker on the edges and lighter in the middle and these bits you notice I've coloured over these dots that's because they're quite small I'm going to go over them in a minute I'm just going to sharpen up my darker blue which is the um, actually an ultramarine and uh, do the pattern now I'm going to do it all in one because I want to shade it in the same way as I did the lighter blue so it'll be easier for me to do it that way well we can define it again after if we think we want to differentiate between these um, stripy parts So yeah, apparently I was a really, really fussy eater. My mum used to cook the same for me every day, usually, because she knew I would eat it. So it used to, uh, she used to find it difficult, and I went through exactly the same with my children. They, uh, they were ate hardly any. When I first weaned them, they were so fussy. Used to eat Weetabix and avocado, cucumber and bananas and potato waffles and toast that was about it for years and I would try new foods and different foods they hated things mixed together and then one day they went to um, my in-laws and their granny had made a lasagna and she just gave it to them and um, they ate it and so I was like right 
you can eat mixed up food young man so that's what we're going to do from now on right those little dots I'm going to do in a dark blue whoops Posca pen this is my dark blue just going to shake it so then I started giving them more mixed up stuff it still took a lot of perseverance very hard work if I wasn't in the mood for gently coaxing them to eat then I just wouldn't bother I would give them something I knew they'd eat or I would give them a new thing on a side plate and ask them if they could just try it and uh, see how they went I don't like that blending in the middle there it's not neat enough I'm going to go back in with my ultramarine and just try and tidy that up a little bit in the middle there what's interesting is this paper is a little bit different I've not used castle arts in this book and uh, it's not quite as easy to use this paper as um, as Worlds of Wonder which is very slick paper I think it's different anyway there I'm happy with that I am going to go back in with the lighter blue and see tidy up these edges but they're not fussy now so much if we eat out my one son will still only like to have chicken nuggets and chips he's scared of what of different restaurant food but he knows that if I cook anything he'll eat it he'll like it well he does remind me of a disastrous mushroom sauce I made once which was vile but uh, we won't do a lot on that there that's much neater I feel now I'm going to use my white to do a few embellishments so I'm going to go on this centre line I'm going to do some white dots I can't make them darker or lighter towards the edge and on the other line as well I'm going to sort of line them up you might not like that you might prefer it if they're a bit more random have a think with yours so that's that and the centers of the flowers I want to make them yellow so I've got a um, yellow Posca and I'm just gonna hopefully if I can get the lid off there we go do a little blob in the center of each one and I'm hoping it will stand out from the yellow background because it's a much more neony vibrant -y yellow Whoops, I missed the centre with that one. It's not ideal. If it doesn't stand out, we'll go over it with some white. Let's have a look. Oh, it does stand out, doesn't it? Right, the last touch I'm going to do is underneath the bowl here on the sand. I think we need a little bit of shadow coming down from here so I'm using the ultramarine just to put a little bit of colour down here just to make it look like it's a bit of shadow that's it I'm gonna end there so I enjoyed doing that one I hope uh, I hope that was fun for you I really like that background colour um, I might stick with it I haven't decided yet. I'll have to decide on when I do the next picture. But uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, happy colouring.